Yo, what's happening, boys and girls? How the devil are we? Shanksy here, and today, Proxima Midnight has just been released, so we are going to be checking her out and doing a to buy or not to buy video. In this video, guys, we are going to be first checking her skills out, having a look at her character. This is the first time I'm looking at any of the skills, so you're going to get my initial reactions on them. Then we are going to open eight orbs up, which is one of the offers, um, which I believe is about £24. So about 25 bucks. We're going to see how many shards we can get. Then we're going to level her up and then take her in with a team into some blitz battles and see what we think of her. And then at the very end, I'm going to rate her out of five and give my opinion on to buy or not to buy. So before we do get into all that, I just want to thank each and every one of you for checking out this video. I really do appreciate it, guys. And if you could do me a massive favor, if you like the vibe over here, if you like the content, all that good stuff, if you could hit that subscribe button, turn them notifications on, become part of the notification squad, or if you could share this video with a pal, a group, or your alliance, I would super appreciate it, all right? Massively appreciate it. Love your faces, and I am absolutely freezing right now. Like, absolutely freezing. It's got nothing to do with the video, but I'm absolutely freezing. You know when you, you're, you're cold, right? And every time you, you're, you're that cold, you're like, this is the coldest I've ever been in my life. But it's probably not the coldest you've ever been in your life, but you think it probably is the coldest. That's how I feel right now. Anyway, <laughs> I digress ever so slightly. Let's get into it. So, having a little look at Proxima Midnight, this little sauce pot is coming in at a base level of 74 power. Let's have a little look at her stats um, over here. She's got 121 health at base, 42 damage, 5 armor. It seems super low for armor. Uh, 95 focus, 79 resistance, 130 crit chance, 10% crit, uh, crit damage. Sorry, 10% crit chance. 124 speed. She's pretty damn quick. She's pretty damn quick. 0% dodge, 0% block, 100% uh, accuracy. Okay, so fairly standard. Um, pretty high base attack. Very, very, very low base armor. But to be expected for a controller, you know, the controllers do normally have incredibly low, incredibly low armor. So, uh, look, they're not going to be tanky, right? Let's face it. So, her basic is Starless Strike. Let's have a little look at that. Attack primary target for 80% damage plus clear one positive effect. This attack cannot be blocked if Corvus Glaive is an ally who will be coming out later on in this patch. Uh, this attack cannot be dodged. That then goes up to 30% uh, damage, so 110, 140, plus clears a second positive, or can clear a second positive. Um, then that gains an assist from Corvus Glaive, which is pretty big at level 4. Um, extra damage, clear two positive effects always. And then the, the level 7 one, so if you did want to tier 4 this, adds a little bit more damage and always gain an assist from Corvus Glaive. Depends how, depends how strong Corvus Glaive's attack is. Whether or not this would make it worth tier 4 in, and obviously depending on how much you level them both up. But this looks like a skill that you could quite easily just take up to level 6 and leave it be. Uh, then we go to Star Throw, which is her special ability. And this is attack primary target for 70% damage, chained to 1 to 2 targets within 2 spaces of previous targets for 60% damage. Uh, dodge breaks the chain. So it's going to um, just chain within two spaces, so it won't chain across the whole thing, but I, I don't know if that will mean it will bounce. Maybe it can bounce chain, I'm not sure. We'll have to see in, in game, right? Uh, plus 20% damage to primary and secondary, chain to two additional. Uh, apply offense down to primary and target, that's pretty big at level three. 30% um, damage, 20% to second, chain to two, three additional targets. Uh, the offense down is pretty big. Um, apply offense down to primary and secondary targets for two turns at level seven. That is pretty big. That is pretty big, but I, I don't know if it will be essential or not. We'll have to see how this team looks. That could, that is looking like it's a possibility for a tier four mat. You guys can't see it because I'm my big fat head's blogging the way. Look at that. There we go. There we go. 50% damage to primary target. Apply offense down to primary and secondary targets for two turns. That is a potential 
for a tier four, depending on how much uh, you get into this team, depending on how many red stars you pull as well. Sometimes, sometimes the tier four abilities really depend if you are if you hit high red. So that to me is a 50-50 one. Last light is her special, uh, her ultimate ability, and that is attack prim primary target for 110% piercing. That's pretty big. Uh, this attack cannot be blocked. 30% uh, piercing. Then change the speed bar by 10%. 30% piercing and apply slow. Change the bit speed bar by 25%. 30% piercing, 50% chance to apply stun. Always apply stun. Uh, and at level 7, 40% extra piercing and change speed bar by 50%. Holy moly. Uh, so that, what's that? 110, 140, 170, 200, 230, 260, 300% piercing. Always applying stun, changing the speed bar by 50%. This is one of them attacks that if you did tier 4 it, whoever you attack is out of the game. Like, that, they ain't getting, they ain't, they ain't coming back from this. You know, you're knocking 50% off their speed bar, you're stunning them, and you're doing 300% piercing. So if they're not dead, they're stunned and slowed <laughs> and... 50% of their speed bar's just gone. Holy moly. This is a sit down and shut up skill. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. So, that is Proxima Midnight. She's looking all right. She's looking all right. We will have to see what she looks like in game, though. So, let's crack open some of these orbs. See if we can get lucky. Now, the offer is up at the moment, guys. The Dead of Night orb is £24. She's not yet released to farm, or we don't know if she's going to come out in a blitz or anything like that yet. Maybe we do know, and maybe I just haven't read it. Um, but at this point in time, I'm not sure. So the Dead of Night orb, at this point, is the only way to get her. You can pick them up uh, for eight of them for £24. For Power Cores, if you want to just buy the Power Cores way, you can get them. You can't get them yet. You can't get them yet. So the only way at this point in time is to pick them up. Um, and Deep Space All Fragments. Okay. Is she available in this? Okay, so she's available in this. You can get a couple of these ones by the Deep Space Orb for 500. So I don't know which way you want to do it. If you want to do it via cores, you know, maybe you're really high up in your arena shard. But this way, you're not going to get many of these shards. It's one or two on the left, one or two on the right. It's going to take a lot of them orbs. To, uh, to to ping her open and you've got to get super lucky. I was saying that, 15s. Is she, is she, ah, see, this is where they get you, isn't it? This is where they get you. In the middle, on the common shard drop, you could be getting anyone. You could just be getting anyone. Like Ghost Riders in there, uh, Crystals in there. You could just be getting anyone, man. Holy moly, that's a tough one. So, right, we have picked up one offer. Only one offer, guys, because they ain't cheap. <laughs> um, and we are going to crack open these orbs right now as you can see when we scroll down we have got eight of the dead of night orbs let's get it so we need how many to unlock her i don't even know how many we need to unlock her where is she have a little check oh, i can't even click well you know what i'll click on her when she comes up so we've got eight orbs it's a guaranteed unlock not nine times out of ten so i'm pretty sure it's a guaranteed unlock now let's get it it's green Right, we need 45, so it's guaranteed unlock out of uh, out of the one offer, which is always bloody handy. Uh, 36k gold there as well, 8 shards, so as long as we're getting 8 at a time, I'm pretty happy. 8 at a time, 16, another 18k gold, I need all the gold I can get, baby. I'm poorer than a poor person taking 4 pills in poor land. Right, another 8 shards, so we need 21 more shards to get her, we got 5 more orbs, come on. Where's these elusive gold drops, baby? Like, I see people pinging out 180 of these all the time. I ain't never seen it. I ain't never seen better than blue. <laughs> dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Is this going to be base all the way along? Oh, it's blue! For big extra two shards. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, my days. Come on. All right. It's we're looking like we're only going to be able to just unlock her. We're not going to be able to. Uh, we're not going to be able to take her to that extra star just yet. That that extra star is going to be a little bit elusive right now. Um, but out of that, we got 64 of her uh, fragments. We got 126k gold, uh, and we got some basic, basic blue gear. So let's unlock her. Let's hit it. Bum, bum, bum. Little two shards, man. I hate it when I only get them two two stars. 
I hate it when Owen again two stars. Feels like so meh. Nah. Feel like meh. Even if you level them up super high, right? Like, this is a weird game. You can still make them viable at low stars. But when you look at the rest of my roster, like, two stars is going to be hard to make a dent with this one. You know? Hard to make a dent with this one. So, I'm going to level her up super quick, guys. I will see you in the future when we jump into some blitz runs and see what she looks like in some battles. Right, guys, I've just leveled her up, and I totally forgot we didn't check out her passive. Embrace the Void. And Embrace the Void is on spawn, gain speed up on Ally Thanos' turn. If he doesn't have the Space Stone, grant him the Space Stone plus speed up. This character can only do this once per match. Plus, gain 20% focus. Black Order and Thanos allies gain 20% focus. So, this is pretty interesting, right? And also, if you tier 5 this, or sorry, tier 4 this, on turn, 50% chance to clear stealth from the most injured enemy. Could this be another Asgardian counter? It's looking very, very likely. But we have managed to level her up to level 50, 16k at 5553. Unfortunately, I could only take a level 50 gear tier 9 before I got skinted. Um, now, it's worth saying I did have to buy another gold offer for this. And I also had to buy a pack of blue gear for like 99p. Bringing the total cost of this video up to about £36. So, do me a massive bloody favour, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, share it, left, right, and centre. Because <laughs> otherwise, I'm not going to be able to make any more. <laughs> oh, dear. So, she is sitting at 16k at the moment. At the moment. Um, let's see if we can put her with a team. Now, what I want to do real quick, guys, and this has got nothing to do with it. I might have to do another video on this entirely. But I want to have a real quick check on Thanos. If I can find him. If I can find him. There we go. 36. So, Titan Eternal. Um, on turn, if this character has all six affinity stones becoming powers, um, how do you get all the infinity stones, dude? How do, you, how, how do you get them? How do you get them? You, you Do you need all of the Black Order to get the infinity? Like, what? Yeah. What are they doing to me? I need to know. I need to know. We'll have to do a video on it when I know. So what I'm going to do, guys, is put... Proxima into a bit of a blitz team. It's going to be hard to fit her in. Um, but we're going to see if we can put her with Thanos and then maybe a couple of others, right? Just similar type of power. See what she looks like in blitz. And uh, we'll go from there. See you in a sec. Right, so here we are. This is my blitz team of choice. The reason for this is obviously I want to pair her up with Thanos. The other guys in the team, Boomer, Cyclops and Han Sorceress, just so happen to be the closest to her level. So this is by no means, oh, look at this Blitz team. This is going to be amazing. I have absolutely no bloody idea. In fact, I incredibly doubt it's going to be anywhere near good. But this is the best that I've got. Four levels with Thanos coming in there at 36k. Uh, and then the rest of them around the 16 to 17 mark. It's basically the closest I've got for them. Where's me Thanos gone? There we go. It's the closest I've got for them. So let's check her out in battle and see what she looks like. Right, so let's have a little look at her in the first Blitz battle. Um, we're probably going to target Black Panther here. She goes first. As I said, she was super quick at the start. And this is where we're going to see how she chains over. So let's take this off uh, off three times speed just for this bit and see what her animation looks like. Okay, so it can actually chain across the front. So it's not a bouncing um, a chain at all. But it can actually go across the, the front a little bit like uh, Thor's hammer. So that's pretty cool. Uh, now with Boomer, we'll see if we can take Black Panther out straight away. Black Panther's gone. Let's get that defense up. Right. Has he got something special now that he's got this Soul Stone or anything? I don't get it. No, not a Scooby. Not a Scooby. Offense down on Wolverine. Uh, right, let's see her ultimate. Is going to be attack primary target for 230% pierce. And this is going to change his speed bar. Plus, maybe apply stun. It's going to kill him off. What? Love it. And he got stunned.
Wow, that's it. Literally took him down to absolutely nothing. Groot just saved his ass. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. All right, we'll take out Wolvie. Um, what? How has she got so much energy back already? But like, we can chain that back up straight away. That's crazy. All right, now it's just all on Groot. Basic's doing decent damage. Basic was actually doing very decent damage there. Immunity. All on this group. How big is this group? 31k. Bop. There we go. Looking all right. That team, that team smashed it. <laughs> that team smashed it. What? Weren't expecting that. I was expecting big trouble for the first couple of ones of these. Holy moly. All right, let's go in again and see what we think. So far, initial impressions, she's all right. She's all right. But let's be honest now, guys. Let's be honest. On the whole to buy or not to buy thing, it very much depends on what stage of your life cycle, in my opinion, in Marvel Strike Force you're at. How many teams are you currently working on? The first, the first character in a team is always very, very difficult to judge on the buy or not to buy side of things because we just don't know how good this team's going to be. On average, we can assume that every team that they bring out is normally the next best thing. So on that mark, then she's going to be able to buy it. As a standalone character, she seems all right. She doesn't seem like she's setting the world on fire or anything like that, but she seems all right. It, it really all depends. Are you going to be going for the rest of the team? And if not, then maybe she's a pass. But she is looking pretty damn decent uh, with Thanos. So it depends how big your Thanos is. Depends on if you're going to go for this Black Order team or not. Um, as far as a standalone character, she's looking all right. But she's not setting the world on fire. So as a far as, uh, I don't know yet. We'll have to see how this one goes. We'll have to see how these blitz battles go. So we're smashing these up. We're going to chain that again. I like that chain. I like that chain. And she seems to generate a ton of energy. I'm not even sure where she's getting all this energy from. <laughs> she just always seems to have, a, have her skills up. That ultimate is spicy, man. Absolutely spicy. Uh, they've destroyed this team as well. And it's not even Thanos that's super carrying this team or anything like that. Like They, they all seem to be doing all right. All right, one last battle, boys and girls, and then we will decide if she's a buy or not to buy. Now, keep in mind, when I do decide if she's a buy or not to buy, this is not predominantly based on just these three blitz battles. It's based on a lot of different combinations. We're going to try this one with um, the big Punisher. Should we try that one with the big Punisher? No, that one with the big tank makes more sense. That one with the big tank makes a lot more sense. Have a little look at that. Ba -da -ba -bum -bum. Loading on in. So animations look pretty cool. No, no, not really setting the world on fire with the animations, but they, they're all right. I still think you'd have to go a long, long, long way to beat Ghost Rider in his animations. He is, she is super quick though. Like everyone that we've taken her in against so far, she is going first without a shadow of a doubt. Didn't really want that to chain across there to the Greg. That's a bit of a bit of a pain in the ass. We're going to see if we can take out Hella first, or maybe Wolvie, <laughs> whatever. All right, let's get that heal defense up going. Um, that big Thanos now is going to play a part, I think. Oh wow, Night Nurse taunted. Ooh, boo. So that piercing damage doesn't seem to actually be dropping her though, does it? Doesn't seem to be. Dropping them, it is applying that slow, and that is uh, that is obviously a real big, big bonus. Uh, but it's not seeming to be doing that killing off damage without a shadow of a doubt. And I thought with that much piercing, I thought it would be doing a little bit more damage than uh, than what it is. Uh, boom, roll. Yeah, we've got this one as well. Let's uh, let's do that one again. So what's that hitting for? It's hitting for 14k, and at her level, that's not bad at all. Keep in mind. The Thanos ult there just done an extra 18k, but he's like twice her twice her level. So that's not bad. There we go. 
Three wins, baby. Three wins back to back. We haven't even lost a single character there. And I don't think it was Thanos like really carrying that team. I think they all actually that, that team bizarrely worked somehow. I don't understand it. <laughs> Whatever. Right. Let's decide on what we think. Right, boys and girls, we've opened the orbs. We've had a look at her abilities. We've taken her into some gameplay, and we've seen how she's performed in Blitz. Now, as far as her stats go and everything like that, she's okay. She's pretty damn decent. She's really, really quick. But the big overlining factor in this to buy or not to buy video is going to be the rest of the team. We know we've already got Thanos in the team. I don't fully understand how it's working with his stones and everything like that. We're going to need the rest of the team in there. So, if you are going to go hard on Black Order, if you are even wanting to farm Black Order, she's going to be a must, right? She is going to be a must. The whole team has got to be leveled up in unison. Um, but until Corvus Glaive gets here, until like she's until the rest of the Black Order team drop, it's going to be a very very difficult one to decide. Now, by the looks of things, she is going to be an Asgardian counter without a shadow of a doubt, especially in war. So this is going to be a war offense team on turn 50% chance to clear stealth from the most injured en enemy. That's pretty damn big. That's pretty damn big. But is it worth a passive? And I don't think it is. I don't think that is going to be the overall factor of this team. And I don't think it's going to be her. So, I would say, unless you're going hard, unless they're a particular favourite, and unless you haven't got a ton of other stuff that you're already working on, and let's face it, baby, it's Marvel Strike Force, you probably have, I'm going to say a not to buy on this one. Proxima Midnight, she's looking awesome, but she just didn't quite cut the mustard. For me, it's a not to buy, um, but as I say, that could change with the rest of the team coming in. The, the first one is such a hard one to judge because you just don't know how they're all going to gel in unison a little bit on later on down the line. But as a standalone character on a to buy or not to buy series, and that's how we've got to view it as, she's not a to buy for me. Guys and girls, that is it for me. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, you know what to do. I need you to leave a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn them notifications on. And if you want to do me an absolutely mahusi favour, go above and beyond. Do me a massive favour. Share this with your alliance, with a pal, with a family member. Hey, everyone's in captivity. It's a captive audience. Just sit down, make someone else watch it. I love your faces. You take care of yourself. Stay strong, be smart, be safe. And until next time, I'll see you on the flip side. Take it easy.